The most successful business solves a problem. That's the number one thing I've learned from reading books about branding and watching every single episode of Shark Tank. But what happens when you create or embellish a problem just to sell people your services? That's what we're discussing in today's video, folks. Let's do a quick little recap of fitness trends throughout recent history and how I think we got here today. Shows like The Biggest Loser really perpetuated this idea that you need to punish and torture yourself to get thin to find happiness. So so weight loss was the solution to the problem. Then we started seeing the body positivity movement emerge, which promoted celebrating bodies no matter what they look like, and really encouraged people to expand their ideas of what healthy actually does look like. Now, the marketing departments of all of these different fitness companies are scrambling because they're trying to figure out how can they sell you weight loss without actually selling you weight loss. Enter gut health. In my opinion, gut health is just weight loss rebranded. It's like weight loss 2.0. So in today's video, we're actually going to take a look at the Beachbody four-week gut health protocol, and I'm going to tell you why I think it is a load of horseshit. Now, this is just one of thousands of programs that I've seen like this, but I am choosing Beachbody because I feel like it's a household name, and it's the one that I've seen promoted the most out of all of them. As always, please remember that these are just my opinions, but I'm going to do my best throughout the video to cite different sources and leave those links down below that really support how I got to my opinion. So with that, let's jump on in. Hello. Okay, so I'm not actually going to purchase this program because it seems like you have to purchase the program and the supplements and a guide and a membership and all of these things just to access it. And I don't wanna give Beachbody a penny. This is called the four week gut protocol. I've been saying that wrong the whole first half of the video, my bad. And four weeks for every body. What? <laughs> Okay, so it's the four week gut protocol and you're supposed to pair it with the four weeks for every body fitness program. So they're not only making you purchase a gut protocol, but they're also making you purchase a fitness program. So to me, this is just saying they're selling you this gut protocol, but to make sure that you see results on your body, also do these workouts. Also give us more money. If you're dealing with stomach woes, you're not the only one. Things like stress, sleep, exercise, and the food you eat can all impact the health of your gut. That is true. Beachbody super trainer and nutrition expert Autumn Calabrese is no stranger to tummy troubles. She struggled with the issue over the years, but after much trial and error and working closely with her doctor, she's finally learned how to uncover her food sensitivities. And now you can too. Okay, Autumn went around this the right way, or so she says. If you have issues with your gut, meaning you feel like you have excessive bloating, if you feel like you get irritated eating certain foods, if your bowel movements aren't what they should, you should go to a doctor. That's it, like, <laughs> end the video, I guess. Like, go to a doctor or even go to a registered dietitian. Do not listen to me, do not listen to her. She is not an RD and she literally tells you what you should be doing. Go to your doctor. Because what she did with her doctor was for her body, not for your body. She's talking all these things with this program of like, for every body. Yeah, but every body is different. It's simple, isolate foods that might be causing digestive sensitivities. Add in no impact exercise. So it seems like a two-step plan, right? Do an elimination diet, which again, should either be done under the care of a doctor or a registered dietitian, and then add in no impact exercise. I am assuming this has something to do with stress. So again, I'm kind of guessing here, maybe editing Justina will throw something in that she found, but exercise is a stress on the body, right? The more intense the exercise, the more stress. So a high impact form of exercise is going to increase the stress on your body, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Everything in moderation, right? The poison is in the dose. So I guess she's saying to try and eliminate any other stressors, let's take your workouts down to a very, very low impact or low intensity. Okay, I wonder what happens though when you're done this protocol and you add that back in. Many people have gut issues without realizing it, so Autumn encourages everyone to try the four week gut protocol and pair it with four weeks for everybody to minimize the impact on their joints. First of all, whoever wrote this needed to like reread it because there's so much repetition of sentences. Secondly, here is where they're trying to create a problem that doesn't exist. Don't get me wrong, there are people who have gut issues. Issues. And once again, for those people, go see your doctor. But now she's saying, you might have gut issues without even realizing it. So you should buy this program. I'm going to create a problem that doesn't exist and probably give you disordered thoughts around foods because this is just an elimination diet. I will distinctly remember in the Psych 101 class I had to take that our professor would always say, you're going to read through all these things and think that you have all of this. 
please don't. You do not have any of these syndromes. Same thing here. Over the course of four weeks, she'll show you how to remove seven characteristically troublesome foods so you can slowly but effectively remove, replace, and rebalance. So again, this is literally just an elimination diet. The thing that is not talked about though is that with elimination diets, you eliminate things that are potential common triggers for people, but then you need to take time to reintroduce them in one at a time to figure out what was actually causing you the issue. So if she's having you remove seven characteristically troublesome foods for four weeks or a month, you will need to take an additional seven months to add in each one. Because if you're adding then all of them back in afterwards, and then you continue to have gut issues, how do you know which one actually caused you irritation? So like, that's the part that she doesn't talk about. And I'm telling you this because I think it's done on purpose. You know, maybe you do have sensitivities to a certain type of food. I'm not saying that doesn't exist. And I'm not saying the gut issues aren't real. But in this situation, she's giving you four weeks where you take out these seven foods. And then after four weeks, apparently you are cured. So you add these foods back in. But then what happens? You have gut health issues again. So what do you do? You go back to the program and it's this yo-yo. It's just a diet. Now, maybe within the program, she actually does talk about how to reintroduce these foods to see which one might have been the troublesome food. But I would like to know that upfront before spending money on a four week program that I think is going to cure my gut health issues. Which supplements should I be taking? Autumn suggests Beachbody Optimize for digestive enzymes that help support nutrient absorption and bioavailability. The pre and probiotic Beachbody Revitalize. The vegan Shakeology. These supplements can help support digestive health and help the body maintain the right environment for healthy intestinal flora. Okay, so let me get this straight. I not only have to buy the four week gut protocol, I also have to do the four week fitness for every body. I then also have to buy three supplements that she is saying will actually make this program work. It is all a marketing scheme. What kind of workouts are in the program? Four weeks for everybody is the perfect fitness companion to Autumn's four week gut protocol. It's no impact, results achievable for everybody. Body. God, if I see one more business use this phrase of everybody, everybody, like can we think of a new way to say it? I swear to God, every single fitness program I see uses that phrase. Let's be more original. While exercise is recommended when you take on the four week gut protocol, it shouldn't be so rigorous that it, inter that it interferes with your body's work and helping your gut. Cool, kind of like what I said, like no additional stress. So you'll do 16 workouts, four per week, all under 30 minutes, including the warm up and cool down. I think that's great. There are also four optional indoor cycling rides. Okay, probably to bump up the cardio because we all know that before and after photos are coming. The focus is on eccentric lengthening exercise that leverages the benefits of time under tension to maximize results. That sentence is nonsense. <laughs> What? The focus is on eccentric lengthening exercise that leverages the benefits of time under tension to maximize results. What are you talking about? Okay, to break this down, there aren't eccentric exercise. Apparently no S on that. The way that she's explaining this is an exercise that's going to lengthen your muscles and give you that lean, long look. That's how I'm reading it. And maybe that's not what she meant, but even if that's not what she meant, the way that she wrote this still makes literally no sense. Eccentric is just one half of a muscle contraction. So it's the part of the muscle contraction where the muscle lengthens. So let's just do the example of a bicep curl. So as you curl the weight, you are shortening this muscle. That's the concentric contraction of the muscle. As you lengthen, that is the eccentric contraction or the lengthening of the muscle. So whenever most people use that phrase, like I'm going to focus on the eccentric contraction or the lengthening of the muscle really just means that they're shifting the tempo of their movement. So what that'll look like with a bicep curl is in fast and then down slow. So I guess what she means to say is that she's going to exaggerate the eccentric contractions and exercises, and that will leverage the benefits of time under tension. Time under tension just means how much time you're doing an exercise for without taking a break or how much time your muscle is in a contraction without taking a break. So again, if we're thinking of bicep curls, it's how much time you're doing your bicep curl, keeping that muscle under tension without shaking it out. And that's going to maximize your results. I can't even dissect this sentence anymore because it's so stupid. Every minute is purposeful and effective and designed to complement the results you can achieve. What it seems like to me is because she's doing short workouts, 30 minutes, she is focused on high volume, no rest, but also no impact. So essentially what she's saying is that 
you're going to be doing a strength workout that feels a little more like cardio because your heart rate's gonna be up because there's very little rest time, which is gonna help you burn more calories in a shorter amount of time. Honestly, I think this is all building to the before and after pictures. Okay, so now that we've talked about what exactly the four week gut protocol is, let's talk about the marketing behind it. So I'm just gonna pop up on the screen here some different examples of things I've seen on social media, people's testimonials to this program. And my number one question here, why are we using before and after photos? If the purpose of this program is to improve your gut health or improve your gut microbiome because you have excessive bloating or troubles in the bathroom or pain, why am I looking at how much weight you lost? Shouldn't I be looking at like an internal scan? Shouldn't I be looking at certain levels that are taken from your doctor? Shouldn't I be hearing testimonials of how much better you digest your salad because you learn that this ingredient doesn't sit well with you? It is just so interesting to me the problems that people will invent. And again, I'm not saying that gut issues do not exist, but what these businesses are trying to do is take something that isn't an issue for you and then sell it to you for weight loss. It is manipulative, it is gross, and you will not see me giving any of my money to Beachbody ever. So hopefully you found this video informative and hopefully it just explains a little bit more about ways you can view and really start to be critical for yourself about what's being marketed to you. I don't think that there's anything wrong with a business trying to solve an issue and sell something to you, but when that business starts to create an issue or make you believe you have an issue that you don't actually suffer from, that's where we get into the icky zone. Let me know if there is any other trend in fitness that you have noticed that you would like me to touch on. And as always, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos, and I will see you all in the next one.